Today in Crypto Crypto has recently been suggested as a fix for the woes popular adult content platform OnlyFans has been going through. The company had announced last week that it planned to remove all of its adult content by October 1st. Speculations were that this was due to payment processors Visa and MasterCard making payment harder for the company due to the nature of its foremost content. But it was clarified that it was in fact due to the company wanting investors since they had been turned down due to the type of content they host on their site. Related reading, South African man loses $900,000 worth of Bitcoin after accidentally deleting keys this had sent a shockwave through the community and the news world. Crypto enthusiasts started suggesting that things like this could be avoided with decentralized platforms and payment services like cryptocurrencies. With Bitcoin leading in the suggestions for the type of crypto to be used for this, the company has not responded to any of this seemingly steadfast in its resolve to purge the site of all pornographic content. To this end, America rapper Tyga has announced that he plans to release his own platform that will be a direct competitor to OnlyFans. The platform the rapper plans to launch will be built on the Ethereum network. Rapper Tyga had opened an OnlyFans account almost a year ago. Tyga had been a strong advocate for the platform and had started a modeling agency, 2Raw that was dedicated to helping content creators get started on OnlyFans. Following the ban on pornographic content, the rap star took to his Instagram to announce his exit from the platform. Related reading, crypto market goes into extreme greed. What this means for Bitcoin Tiger announced that he had deleted his account on the platform and he was launching his own OnlyFans competitor, Mr which would provide content creators more freedom and a better cut of earnings, while also providing higher quality viewing for the audience. According to the press release, Mistar will only take 10% off creators' earnings compared to the 20% on OnlyFans. Mistar's most striking feature yet remains the fact that the platform is being built on the Ethereum network. The rapper seems to have listened to the suggestions coming out of the market recently and has run with this. Related reading Here's what Bitcoin exchange inventory levels means for the bull rally in addition to providing better quality and a higher percentage of earnings. Mistar will also allow content creators to sell NFTs on the platform, and also, features that are relevant to the music industry. This will provide content creators the ability to mint pornographic content in order to sell them off as NFTs. A countless number of sex workers and adult content creators have been affected by the OnlyFans ban on pornographic content. Tiger told Forbes that he wanted to give these people hope with his platform. I know how many people make a lot of money on OnlyFans, and that's where most of their revenue is at. I want to give those people hope. Tiger said. The Mistar platform is scheduled to launch in October, following the ban of pornographic content on OnlyFans happening on October 1st. The site is currently up and is allowing creators to sign up ahead of the launch. Binance Coin, BNB, rallied 30% in two weeks, but the fourth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization seems to be struggling to break the $450 resistance. Coincidentally, this is the same top from June 3rd, which was followed by a 48% correction down to $225. Given the similarity of the situation when compared to previous instances, investors have reasons to doubt the recent performance, especially as Solana, SOL, a competing smart contract platform, reached an all-time high on August 18th. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Layer 1 blockchain networks like Bitcoin BTC, and Ethereum, EDH, form the foundation of the cryptocurrency ecosystem and enable smart contract functionality that has allowed the creation of new industries like decentralized finance, DeFi, and non-fungible tokens, NFT. Avalanche, AVAX, is a relatively new layer 1 solution that has recently seen a significant increase in price and adoption as the dominant smart contract platform, Ethereum continues to struggle with high transaction costs and slower processing times compared with its competitors. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. With thousands of Afghans currently being accepted as refugees in different countries following the Taliban's takeover of many highly populated areas, many non-profit organizations are accepting donations in cryptocurrency. Thousands, if not millions 
of Afghans are attempting to or are in the process of fleeing their home in fear of what the Taliban may do now they are largely in control of the country. Organizations helping refugees and those on the ground have put the word out, they need funds to support Afghans arriving on foreign soil with often little more than the clothes on their backs. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Another number one draft pick is crypto bound. Sports teams and leagues continue to find crypto partners. Name, image, and likeness deals in college sports and coming to life with crypto deals. It's all these stories, and more, in this week's Sports Slice on Bitcoinist. Let's take a look at all the past week's action. Earlier this year, NFL quarterback Trevor Lawrence was selected as the first pick in this year's draft. Shortly thereafter, the highly touted athlete signed a deal with Blockfolio. Late last month, the NBA draft took place, with Oklahoma State guard Cade Cunningham being the undoubted first pick sending him to Detroit to play for the Pistons. Less than a month later, Cunningham joins the ranks of a growing list of athletes looking to be paid in crypto. Cunningham signed a multi-year partnership with BlockFi this week, solidifying the young star's signing bonus in Bitcoin. Educational videos promotional giveaways, exclusive interviews, and more content are the focal points around the partnership. BlockFi joins a list of high-tier sponsors for Cunningham, which includes Nike and Panini America. Global consulting firm McKinsey & Company released a report with Sportico recently, showing substantial growth in short time for sports NFTs. The report shows sports NFT monthly purchase growth of 19% since the February peak and the report suggests that the sports NFT market is here to stay as a powerful medium for fan engagement. Estimated consumer metrics in the report from a surveyed population of 2,500 U.S. consumers aged 18 to 65 show that only 0.5% to 1% have purchased a sports NFT while an additional 5% express interest in doing so. Consumers are generally seeing sports NFTs as a blend of trading cards, sports betting, and crypto assets. While we're so early in the game, it's worth noting that 86% of buyers say that owning sports NFTs makes them even bigger fans. Terry's a lot more to come here. Related reading, Marvel launches first NFT digital comic books on VVSocios.com is making the NBA push with their foot on the gas. The Chicago Bulls Louisiana Clippers and Houston Rockets all announced partnership deals with Socios.com this week. For each of the three teams, the deal with Socios.com will include on-site signage and social media integration for Socios.com digital assets. Whether it's by design or due to other factors, NBA teams have not been quick to shuffle into fan tokens like those utilized by European soccer clubs such as PSG, which dominated the chatter in last week's sports slice. Nonetheless, this level of engagement with Socios.com is likely the first step to deepened relationships and given Chile's and Socios.com dominance in the fan token marketplace, it's not far-fetched to expect NBA fan tokens in the years ahead. The NBA was the first major sports league to offer licensed NFTs through NBA Top Shot with partner Dapper Labs. In last week's NFTs in a nutshell. We highlighted the University of Miami as the first major collegiate institution to sell a series of NFTs. This week, another Florida-based university is dipping their toes in the water with crypto, as new name, image, and likeness NIL, opportunities present themselves. Yummy Crypto has locked in a deal with the Florida State Seminoles football team offering $500 to every player who touts Yummy's charity work on social media in September. If every player takes Yummy up on the offer, the bill lands at around $60,000. Serie A is one of Europe's premier soccer leagues, and on the cusp of signing new broadcast deals, they've also found a new crypto partner. Serie A has partnered with Crypto.com, securing the exchange as the league's first innovation and technology partner. Crypto.com will secure presenting sponsor rights for the league's virtual assistant referee and goal line technology. A golden boot, some diamond hands, and laser eyes apparently. Have fan tokens put soccer star Lionel Messi all in on crypto. Messi's new Messiverse NFT went live on Eternity this weekend, and depicts the legendary sports star as a superhero, a king and a Greek titan. With still a full day remaining, Messis one of one the Golden One NFT is already commanding north of dollar $1. Um. Ethernetus Marketplace page is currently led by Messi, legendary boxer Manny Pacquiao, 
hockey superstar Alex Ovechkin, and hip-hop pioneer Nas. Not a half-bad showcase for the emerging NFT platform. Odell Beckham Jr., often known as OBJ, is a well-decorated wide receiver in the NFL. The three-time pro bowler and NFL offensive rookie of the year is adding another notch to his resume. Crypto Punk Owner OBJ nabbed Punk number 3365 this week, and changed his Twitter profile avatar accordingly. Related reading, U.S. Mayor wants to give everyone $1,000 in Bitcoin. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.